Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name's Kristen, and today I'm gonna to be sharing with you some common bedroom design mistakes you may be making in your home and how to fix them. We're gonna be going over everything from paint to furniture to layout ideas so that you can elevate your space and make your bedroom look the best it can possibly be. So if you enjoy watching and find this video helpful, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and hit that like button. And I wanna give a huge thank you to Brooke Linen for sponsoring today's video. Let's go ahead and jump right into it. All right, before we can even talk specifics on furniture and color, we have to jump right into the key factor to the perfect bedroom design, and that's achieving the perfect bedroom layout. If your bed is either pushed into the corner of the room, cutting off the layout of the room, flipped into the corner, then it's gonna throw the whole room off. It's gonna be very difficult to decorate from then on out. Doors and windows definitely affect the layout of your furniture, but whenever you can, try and center that bed on the wall that you see right when you walk into the space. Having your bed in the middle of the room like that creates a very balanced look and it makes it so much easier to design your entire space. There are definitely situations where the room's a little bit smaller and pushing the bed into the corner is the only option. So if that's the case and you're not really loving the way it's looking, you should definitely consider getting a day bed. The day beds are perfect because they're supposed to be styled up against a wall and it won't look like an awkward bed pushed up against the corner the wall. Day beds are perfect if you're looking for just a twin size or a full size, but trundles actually give you that two-in-one bed situation that you can roll out or fold out to pretty much double the size of your sleeping space. So if you want to save space during the day, maybe you use your bedroom for multiple things, a trundle bed would be amazing because you can use it as a twin during the day, push everything inside, and when you want a bigger sleeping space at night, you can roll it out or fold it out. Now, if you're coming up with that bedroom layout and you're working around doors and and windows, sometimes you're in that position where you really need to put that bed up against the wall that has windows on it and you're blocking that natural light that comes in. You should never block the natural light that's coming into your space with furniture. So if that has to happen and that's the only place your bed can really be, I would be looking for low profile beds so that if you are blocking any light, it's very minimal and you don't have a giant headboard taking up the entire window. And one way to really make this look dramatic and impactful, but anchor the bed at the same time is to actually hang drapes on those windows to create kind of a headboard effect and balance out the space. If you hang your drapes as high as you can and hitting corner to corner on that wall, you can pretty much have a whole wall of drapes that's gonna make that bedroom look soft, elegant, and balance out the windows that you have behind the bed. Doing the wall to wall drapes are really gonna bring in that height that you need when you bring your bed down lower like that, and it's gonna create that balance. Now, another mistake you might be making is just having way too much furniture. If you have one of those matching furniture sets that comes with two dressers, a big bed, nightstands, every single wall of your bedroom is gonna be covered with something large and heavy. I like to kind of clear up space if you have existing furniture by maybe slipping your dresser into the closet and creating the storage opportunity in there. Everything doesn't have to be out on display creating a heavy environment. Sometimes putting your taller dresser away in your closet still gives you that functionality, but it actually clears up space in your bedroom. I love using the space that you already have in your room, like underneath your bed, to create more storage space. So you can get under bed rollers, store clothes, extra bedding under there, all of your essential things that might have been put away in your dresser. So you can use those large pieces that you already have in your space, like your bed, and turn them into more of a storage piece. Now your bedding can totally throw off your entire design, be a little bit distracting, or it can add to your design and really bring it all together. I think going with simpler bedding and layering in those decorative touches is the way to go. I love to try and create that getaway, luxurious hotel feeling in my bedroom every single day, and the best way to do that is with sheets. You spend a third of your life in your sheets, so they might as well be the softest and most comfortable. I always love using Brooklinen sheets in bedding, so thank you so much to Brooklinen for sponsoring today's video. Video. I've had Brooke linen sheets on my bedroom in my parents house and my own bedroom here and I just love them They're extremely comfortable and they totally create that luxurious feeling and look in your space luxury bedding can be very expensive so Brooke linen gives you that quality and that comfort at a way more affordable price because they're able to cut out the middleman they believe that everyone deserves simple beautiful home essentials without the luxury markup and I'm all about that I love that you can just shop for these from the comfort of your own home and they get delivered straight to your door. You can actually mix and match over 20 colors and patterns to really come up with a design that suits your space.
space, I always recommend going a little bit simpler with your core bedding so then you can layer in the details on top of that. So I ended up going with Brooklinen's Luxe Hardcore Sheet Bundle. This comes with the core sheet set, two extra pillowcases, and a duvet cover. I actually ended up getting the core sheet set in cream and layering in white pillowcases and a white duvet cover. So you get a little bit of variation in there, but everything is super neutral. They have a 480 thread count, which is super luxurious. You get that buttery soft feel and they have a really beautiful luminous finish. They're their best-selling Luxatine sheet set and it's gonna instantly elevate the look of your space. Typically luxury sheets can cost around $500, but the classic and the Lux hardcore bundle cost between $200 and $250 just depending on the size of your bed. You actually save 25% by purchasing the hardcore bundle instead of buying everything separately. I remember the first night I slept in Brooklyn in sheets, I was at my parents' house and I woke up and told my parents in the morning, they are the softest sheets. They really just make you feel special every night when you go to sleep. So I could not recommend Brooklyn in more. If you guys are looking to upgrade your bedding, if you're looking to upgrade your room altogether and really get a good night's sleep and a beautiful looking space, definitely check out Brooklyn in. You can get $20 off any orders over $100. Just click the link down below my description box and use code Kristen. So implement a clean look in your space with good quality bedding, and then you can layer in all your details on top of that. Now, sometimes the one thing you need to really bring your space together is an area rug. If your bedroom is missing an area rug, it may look like all the furniture is kind of floating around and it's not being anchored in place. And a rug can really bring a space together, add that comfort, warmth, coziness, but also texture and color. So it's another design element that can really take your space to the next level. So if you're missing a rug, I would absolutely implement one and make sure it's running horizontally underneath your bed. So try and get it as large as possible so it can hit from one nightstand to the other and bring together your space that way. If the rug is too small, again, it's gonna look like the floating piece that's not the right size in your space. Or if it's not under the bed and it's kind of floating somewhere else in the room, that's not gonna look right either. So if you have a very large space, you can do one large area rug. Having a larger rug spanning the width of the room is better than having a smaller rug floating on the side. I think every bedroom needs a rug if you have tiling, hardwood, or even carpeting. So your rug can be that element that really ties together the color palettes and introduces that style into the space. Now something I think you can have a lot of fun with in your bedroom are your nightstands. Nightstands can pretty much be whatever you want them to be as long as they're the right size. They could be a side table, they could be a shelf, they could be a chest of drawers, or they could be a typical nightstand. But making sure that the size makes sense for your bedroom is the most important. If you have large long walls and you have small little nightstands beside your big king bed, it's gonna look very off. If you're gonna have a large bed, you should also have large nightstands. And again, those could be chests of drawers to really get that width that you might need. So the size and the scale of everything in your space really needs to coincide to create a complete beautiful looking space. Now one thing I've always had fun playing with was my bedroom wall color. Growing up, I had the brightest colors possible. Bright pink, bright yellow, bright turquoise. I had all of those. I think even though fun wall colors are really exciting, you can go for more of a muted color palette. Neutral colors are always the best way to go when it comes to a bedroom specifically. You can have fun in so many other areas of your home, but a bedroom should be a little bit more serene and relaxing and calm. Neutral color palettes will definitely do that. I wanted drama in this space, so I went with a muted muted, darker, deeper, kind of neutral color, but I've kept the rest of the walls white. So that's gonna give that airy feeling, even though I want the drama over there. Color is definitely in, bold colors are definitely in, but you can play with those in smaller ways around your bedroom. Maybe it's your rug, maybe it's throw pillows, maybe it's the art on your walls. A neutral palette's really gonna make it easier to design so you can swap out curtain materials, bedding, rugs, and that's something that can always evolve and change. Now, when you're designing your bedroom or picking out new furniture for your space, you usually start with your bed or your headboard because that's kind of an exciting place to start. And sometimes the headboard can just be a little bit too busy for your space. Maybe it's way too large. Maybe it has too much tufting. You don't want your headboard stealing all the attention. You want it to kind of seamlessly work with everything else you have in your space, with your light Lighting, your nightstands, your bedding, your rug, your curtains, you want it to all work off of each other instead of having all the attention on the headboard. The bed behind me had a dark wood headboard, so I just upholstered it. So you get that seamless, more modernized, clean look to your space 
just by upholstering that one piece in your room. Or you can get headboard slip covers. These are amazing if you wanna change the style of your bed. Maybe if you have a tufted headboard and you're not going after that look anymore, you can simplify with a headboard slip cover that can slip right on top of your existing headboard. They are such a great solution so that you don't have to go buy all new furniture and you can get a completely new look in your space. So if your bed's taking all the attention in your room and you're finding it hard to decorate around it, definitely consider a slip cover or upholstering that existing bed. Keep what you already have and make it work in a new way. All right, so that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Let me know down below in the comments which one of these design ideas do you absolutely need to start implementing into your home. And don't forget to check out Brooklinen. They're offering such a great deal right now and they are the most comfortable sheets I've ever slept on. It really makes you look forward to getting into bed every single night, so definitely check them out. You can get $20 off any orders over $100. Just click the link down below and use my code Kristen. Anyways, if you enjoyed watching and found this video helpful, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and hit that like button and make sure you guys are subscribed to my channel so you don't miss the upcoming videos. Click that red subscribe button down below and make sure you guys have your notifications turned all the way on so you're first to see the next video. Love you guys so much and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!